I'm going to quickly show you how to widen an existing road in Site 3D. So I have an existing uh, slip road here that is entering onto a roundabout and I want to increase the width of it to create a new lane along this area here. Now that lane will basically take the, exist the existing um, uh, crossfall of this, this road and extend it into this new lane. So we're going to start by putting a centre line along the existing channel lines. I can use my snaps to help me here. Just uh, snap it here and use my snap to curves. Now I have curve information on my uh, my drawing here that I can use to help me. It may not be that the case for you. You may have to snap a load of points and things like that to uh, snap to the existing survey. I can then visually check to see whether I've matched everything and uh, actually it looks like in this case, yeah, so I need to add in an additional point here because it looks like the survey isn't tangential in its location, which is what you'd expect for a topographical survey because it could be made up of point to point to point and things like that. Okay, so I'm now matching horizontally and I want to look at the long section of this, go to the long section and I want to now match it vertically as well. So I can use my level to surface option and say, yeah, I want to replace it and snap it to the existing uh, the uh, the current survey so now I've done that I can then visually check and make sure that I have a smooth long section and you can see here I've got a few little sort of indentations and bumps and ridges and things like that now that's because it looks like we are repositioning the curb line over here so I've probably clipped the existing curb line in a couple of places which is why we have these uh, these points so what I want to do is uh, I want to make an engineering decision here and say, well, actually, my, my, my proposed curb line in this area here needs to be smooth. So I'm just going to manually adjust these positions. I'm just going to get rid of some of these uh, points and smooth that out. And there we go. And I want to then make sure that the uh, the rest of my uh, my drawing is smooth. And it looks like there's a couple of little small bumps over here that I want to just sort of smooth out in this area over here that probably aren't there in real life. OK, so. We now have our smooth long section that uh, basically matches the existing ground. And now I want to uh, add on my additional lane. Now to add on the lane, I need to initially uh, add on a zero width channel on the left hand side. I'm not adding anything to the right because um, that's the existing road and I don't want to touch it. So I can say, well, OK, right hand side, remove it completely. As I said, I don't want to add anything on here. The left hand side, the Center line was drawn on the channel, so my channel offset is zero, and I just don't need any curbs. Uh, I'm going to put on a default one in 40 crossfall for the moment. Uh, we'll then measure the existing crossfall in a moment and uh, update that should we need to. So first of all, I now need to widen out my uh, zero width channel here. So let's do that by adding a widening on the uh, primary channel. So add a widening and zoom in to make sure I'm snapping to the correct position. So widen from there to there. OK, and then have a look over here. And it looks like we're transitioning from the width we've just chosen back down to zero width over a single curve. And we're going to do this with a mitre corner. So I'm going to say take the direction of the channel here and intersect it to find the direction of the channel over here. So that's now found me a new IP. Obviously, the end offset needs to be changed. So I can just manually go and say, well, that should be a zero offset. So that will now reposition this to a new IP position over here. And then I can say, well, I need to find a, a curve for this. So I'm going to max that out by drawing it all the way in. And that's coming out as you know, 122.154. So I'm going to make an engineering decision and say that should be something like 120 meters. And then, OK, just go around that value, basically. Apply it. And it now shows me my new lane on here. It's a 1 in 40 crossfall all the way along. And I can make sure of that by putting on my contours for my design. Type in a reasonable contour interval, OK on that one. And now I have my new contours all the way along as well. So the next sort of stage would be to verify that this is the uh, continuation of the grade of the existing road. And we can do that by putting on the contours of our existing ground. And I'm just going to type in the same interval so that the contours in, uh, match up, as in they should be on the same interval. But I'm going to put the contour colors to black and grey so they're not too intrusive on the design but I can still visually see them. So there we go. So we can see we are definitely matching vertically. They are tying in. Uh, they look like they're on a slightly different angle to the uh, the existing ground here and it looks like it actually gets a slightly, uh, it looks like the angle changes. So the gradient is clearly changing in this sort of an area over here on the existing road that is. So we need to do, we need to match this. So I'm going to go back in. Well actually first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this. So I'm just going to turn off my snaps and say, well, what is the gradient, say, over here of the existing? And it's 
approximately 1 in 50 over here. So that's 1 in 50 over here. That's what I'll start at. And I can then go into my um, channel tools, respecify it, and just change it. So in this case, 1 in 50. OK, and that'll now just update all of that all the way along. So now, yeah, that's now better matching along here. And yes, as I sort of thought, it's still at a different angle over here. So that's suggesting that the grade over here is slightly different. So we can then measure that one as well. So measure it over here. And that's, oh, that's, yeah, it's coming out at one in 60 ish. So uh, what I want to do then is say over a specific length somewhere over here, maybe just before this corner, I want to change the grade of my new lane. So we're going to do that one with our vertical channel tools, add a new transition on. So select it here and say, well, I want to, I'll do it over this, this length here. So from here through to here, I want to change from one in 50. And I want to change that to one in 60 over that length. And there we go. So that now just adjusts it all the way along and that then better matches the existing crossfall as we're going along. So all that's left to do is add on our setting out. And what I want to do now is by uh, is add our setting out uh, for our existing channel line that we've drawn on. Choose an interval, choose some information, but basically click OK and uh, put that on the side of our drawing. It's got our uh, coordinates with our uh, sort of chainage, easting, northings, levels, and sort of point types for along the channel line here. Uh, the, sorry, the existing channel line there. And I want to add on a setting out table for the channel. And again, intervals, I can choose a, a few different informations, uh, bits of uh, settings that go for my uh, tables and stuff like that. But just position that on the side here. And now I have setting out coordinates for the new channel line as well. And uh, whilst we can see here, it also then highlights it's showing road one as well, which is on the drawing as well. And this is obviously not a road. I want to rename it. So let's go and go back into my centerline properties and choose that and say, well, actually, this is my existing channel. And OK on that one. And there we go. So that's now updated it on all of the information that's relevant as well. You can see it's updated on the annotation next to the centerline. It's updated all the uh, setting out tables and everything that's gone with it. And there we go. So now we have our uh, existing channel with a m extended um, lane, um, which has taken the uh, crossfall of the um, original road and extended it out into that new lane. Thank you.